Do not squeeze. <laughs> Just open it. Do not squeeze. That's already got me freaked out. And spicy. These catchphrases are actually very nerve wracking. <laughs> These catchphrases, dude. Oh, Lord of mercy. You know what it is? Do you know what it is? <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I'm gonna have to do that. But what did I tell you? You would be... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. You understand that? Like, I know what it's for. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I said you'd be excited but scared. You did. Are you excited but scared? You did. <laughs> And I had no clue, like, I was going to be that scared, but slightly excited. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so we'll set it up. Oh, that's going to hurt. All right. <laughs> okay. I don't even know how to start with this. I guess we need to explain what the hot sauce is and where it came from, for those who have never seen the show. It came from the underbellies of someone's design who should have never designed it to begin with. It's supposedly a really good sauce, but it's really hot. Okay, we're gonna start from the beginning, beginning of how we came to have this sauce in our possession. So Marcus here loves watching the Hot Ones interviews, which is a segment on the First We Feast on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's a YouTube channel. I'll link them in the description. It's great content for anybody but essentially it, they interview celebrities actors singers etc with hot wings <laughs> basically on a scale of one to ten ten being the hottest and um, you just watch these people that you love go through pain and um the first season i don't know if they <laughs> owned any of their own sauce i don't know if they created any of their own sauces for season one i don't know i watched them all out of order so i don't really know essentially um the host of the show, along with some friends, designed their own hot sauce, and they have a couple of them in the lineup now. But the final sauce currently is called The Last Dab, which is the hottest sauce on their show. Um, so I ordered it for Marcus, and now we're both stuck trying it. <laughs> so that's what happened, and you really need to look at their channel and watch some of those interviews if you haven't seen them yet. What are some of your favorite people who've done them? I enjoy Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf was funny. Kristen Stewart did some. But it was because he handled it. And it was like, it seemed to be a normal interview, more so than pain torture. When you go into like some other ones like Kevin Hart who fell out. Yeah, Shia fast. LaBeouf is a beast. Oh my gosh. They did um, Shaq. Yeah. Uh, Will Ferrell. A couple comedians, a couple chefs. Gordon Ramsay did it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, Brits, you guys, all the Brits they interviewed yeah. cannot um, hold their spice. No. I'm going to say that now, and I'm not going to be able to do it. So um, <laughs> we pulled out a couple sauces we already had in our pantry so we can kind of do a lineup. We don't have very many sauces. We usually when we order wings, they're already tossed in the sauce from the restaurant. Um, but we ordered pizza tonight, and they had a, a side or a bundle that included wings, so we just got plain wings from Domino's, which are not my favorite wings, but um, <laughs> they'll get the job done. They're just a boat for the hot sauce. So are you ready to start? We have three sauces. The first one is basically an off-brand of Red's hot so sauce, less than 500 Scoville units. Um, in the show, they base their sauces in order of Scoville units, which is levels of spiciness. So um, we thought we'd do the same thing with the our two pitiful sauces and then this insane sauce. <laughs> so we're gonna start with this hot sauce, but then we'll go up to Sriracha, which is between one and 2,000 Scoville units, depending on the brand. And then we will jump to two million Scovilles, which is the last dab. <laughs> so we're already regretting our decision. Um, we both like spicy food, but we've never had anything near that hot. So for that one time you had instant regret, do you want to tell that I story? I had a flashbang. My brother used that one. Specifically, flashbang was designed to just like hurt super bad. And it comes in at a whopping 2.3 million schools. Or was it 3.3? I, I forgot. 
I'm scared of it. But he used two dabs of that in a meatloaf, and then he made the meatloaf, which then turned out pretty great, except for the fact that two dabs just boom, boom. I did not enjoy that meal at all. So on that fact, hopefully, when they say this one has flavor and heat, it Maybe. tastes good. We're hoping at least if it's painful, oh, it tastes good on the way. Um, just for frame of reference though, if you think of the hottest pepper you know, most people will say the Carolina Reaper, which I believe is one point whatever you said, million yeah. Scoville units. The pepper that is in this is hotter. The guy who bred and developed the Carolina Reaper also developed the pepper that is in this, which is not named yet. They call it Pepper X until they have an actual name for it. But it is hotter than the Carolina Reaper, if you have heard about the Carolina Reaper. So just for a frame of reference, um, the uh, Pepper X, I think they ranked around 4 million Scovilles, but once it's actually developed into the sauce, I think the sauce is only 2 million. I say only 2 million, like that's not incredibly dangerous. <laughs> I could say, my favorite thing about the sauce is the way it looks. It, it does look like a good sauce. very delicious sauce. And I have been become a fan. It's chunky, it's not like just water. Of mustard. It smells mustardy, we smelled it after we did the unboxing. It smells good, and um, and people have said it tastes good, so I'm hoping if we die, at least it was a pleasant trip. So we have our first wing with our knockoff red hot sauce. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ready? usual hot sauce for Frito Pie. Well, Frito Pie. Are you ready? Yeah. We, this is no big deal, so. Just enjoy the wings. It's not hot at all, it's just flavor with a little kick. But we figured we should do something to build our way up just so we didn't like jump into that sauce. If I had to say on this one though, I think it has that like light salty kind of vinegary taste. It's very it vinegary. Yeah. But I like that in a in like a buffalo wing hot sauce. I will agree to that. And I do wish we had Tabasco to run with it. That way we also vinegary that would have delicious vinegary. Seeing Tabasco becomes one of our favorites. But it's like, even though that's not hot, like, I feel it in my mouth. And so that worries me that that sauce is less than 500 Scoville units. And we're about to dry a sauce that's 2 million. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. It's just okay. a Sriracha, this is between 1,000 and 2,000 Scovilles. Also, not bad. We have this all the time in our ramen. Thanks to her. Delicious ramen. Thanks. Became one of my favorite meals. I have discovered throughout college the best way to make instant ramen. And I've learned by watching what she learned. I'm pretty proud of my ramen, my instant ramen. <laughs> All right, sriracha, ready? Uh-huh, I've never had wings with sriracha. No. Nope. Because I really just use it for Asian food. But that's really good. I don't know if I'm going for the tangy sweet. Like the vinegary salty was one thing. Now we're talking like a tangy sweetness. It's kind of like, now I'm confused because we're on two different opposite ends of the spectrum here. Where's this one going to lie? You'd have to be in the mood to actually intentionally have sriracha and hot wings. Usually we love, we live up near Kennesaw, Georgia. There's this hole in the wall family owned business called Rick's Hot Wings. <sighs> Best wings ever, we always get there. Well, I love their lemon pepper, but we've been getting their extra hot yeah. recently. And it's and not- their just saucy deliciousness, I love them. It's not that hot though, I wish they had hotter. Which then he was like, that's as hot as we have. Yeah, so. we tried to get, <laughs> it's, it's uh, Sean's fault from Hot Wings because we kept binging <laughs> on these we kept binging on these uh, interviews and they kept making us crave hot wings. And yeah. every time we went back, we were like, can we get the next spiciest one? Can we get the next spiciest one? So I went from That's a thing. my beloved lemon pepper, I love my dry rub lemon pepper, mm -hmm. um, to hot. And then we bumped it up to extra hot, which is so good because it's just extra saucy and delicious. Yeah. And that one's really good, but they didn't, they didn't have any hotter than that. So <laughs> still finger looking good though. Those Enjoy. are really good. I'm stalling now. We only had two sauces to build up to this and neither one of them were hot. 
hot at all. So now I'm worried that we're about to jump into this. But if these two sauces did give us one thing, it's flavor. So now we get to do a rock and comparison flavor between the twos and the third one. Because we already know the heat intensity is not going to touch. But hopefully at least the flavor we can have a, a common ground here, possibly. I can't believe we're doing this. I can. Push me out of an airplane at 15,000 feet. I did. <laughs> Which she might also be able to have a link to a video for that. It's crazy. Yeah. Right oh, yeah. I'm going to link the, his video that they filmed of him skydiving. Crazy. Just for fun. First time in an airplane? Helicopter. Airplane. Not helicopter. Never got to land. Yeah. <laughs> Still has never landed in an airplane. Um, I'm really scared. <laughs> Would y'all like a smell? It's so yellow for a hot sauce that it throws me off, but it's the, the mustard that's in it. I'm sorry. I'm going to do my own dab. <laughs> he doesn't trust me. <laughs> I did my own dab. Oh, you did so I did much. My own dab. I should have did that. Ah! Show them how much you put on there. That's not even all of it, so it spilled off. <laughs> oh, are you going to eat that? I did my own dab. <laughs> I have to do my own dab. Are you going to eat that? Yeah. Oh! Um, waste not. Waste not. I might be taking him to the hospital later. I think I'm going to just dip this in the stuff that spilled over from yours. It did. It was bad. <clears throat> it's a good quarter size spilled over. The normal dab that they would usually do on the hot ones missed my wing, and I think I was doing like triple the dab. There, that's a lot. But on the show, it always looks so thick. Excuse me, thick. So they yeah. always have to like bang it out on the last wing, and so... Try. You, so there's a lot. <laughs> you want to share? No. You're is right. that enough? That's this is how much they usually do on the wing. I feel like. Do you think that's fair? Do you want to do a comparison? <laughs> it's up to you on how much you're about to do, but I cannot waste none. You don't let me. I mean, this is what you were supposed to do, so I feel like I shouldn't be punished for that. You're good. Yeah. And, uh, here we go. You ready? You ready to tap off? Let's tap on. Okay. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> you get mustard right away. Mm. Oh, it creeps up so fast, though. I thought they said it was a slow burn. You feel it. You feel the mustard and no spice at all. It's just flavor. And then it hits you <laughs> and it just gets, keeps getting worse. Oh, it's still tolerable, but the flavors, it's a building heat. The flavors were very smooth, right down the middle of the mouth, which is ideally where I wanted to keep the flavors. But hotter. saliva took it over through my whole mouth. The saliva is what makes it worse. It does. And your mouth oh. is producing more. If you breathe in, it feels good, and then you breathe out, and it's like fire. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. I could do it again. I can't believe you ate that much. I could do it again. I could do it again. It was good. I can't tell if it's getting worse or if it's just plateaued. And I, I think it's plateaued. That's not plateaued. It's building still. Oh, it's hurting my chest. I don't feel it in my chest. My tongue, though, is just... You want to swallow? You had a lot though, so you probably just swallowed some of that straight instead of it like. Yep, I didn't want it marinating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be though. I thought I was gonna like have to drink like a gallon of milk or something. <laughs> Getting so red and sweaty. It's good. It is a good sauce though. Like it's like we're normal people and we survived and I think it's actually like that's that's good sauce. It's hot. It is hot, but it's not like like some hot sauces I think is is just pain. Like if you watch their show sauce number 7, it's called the bomb. And I think that's the worst sauce out of all 10. Even though they're in 
um, Scoville rankings just because it's straight pain and no flavor. I don't, uh, I don't want my lips to close. Your it lips hurts. are burning? Yeah. I didn't touch my lips, so my lips are fine, but my tongue is still like... <laughs> like, I feel like if I blew on a candle, I could like light it. <laughs> Anyways, um, you good? You good? Bye. We did it. We did the last dab challenge. So we have a whole lot left over. So friends and family, feel free. Um, but you might um, be recorded if you want to try our sauce. Anyways, that was really good. Thank you guys <laughs> for watching with us. I know I'm a scrapbooker. I usually don't do these kind of videos, but I got this sauce and I was like, there's no way we can try this and not record it. Um, and my brother also said we had to record it for him. So <laughs> that made it taste so much. You good milk. He chugged half that, that glass milk. That worked. I don't want your milk. I want my almond milk. I don't like milk. I hate milk. So this is how bad it is that I'm voluntarily drinking milk. Whoa. We're good. Flavor it raised. Oh, that help. That does help a lot. A lot. Oh, that I like expect that. have milk ready because that just like kicked it out. I, I wanted had, another one. I had fun riding through. <laughs> He's gone. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you back with my next scrapbook layout probably. But hopefully this was a fun, unexpected video. So it's hot again. I need more. It, it went away and then it came back. <sighs> we survived. That was hot. <sighs> Alright guys, see you in the next one. Ooh.